Here's the box. Here's my everyday carry. What, you don't carry a steak knife? I'm a terrible surgeon. The knife is just to get you started. No, peanuts. Everybody loves peanuts. Looks like spelled wrong, but still, a little note. Let's see what we got from GovBird. It's probably a little, it's like warranty papers. They do a 15 month guarantee for GovBird, which is nice. Yeah, it's a credit card and an exchange information in case I want to return or exchange. A little, I don't know, what the hell that is. And um, like looks like warranty papers and a little note, which is very nice. So People really do remark on how nice this Tudor box is, and I can sure see why. I don't, you know, now you can see the glossiness of it. This is like a, a high polish piano black finish, sort of like that new iPhone. And here is the watch. I'm gonna take it out. Let's play. Actually, before we take it out, I want to show you a, a, a little closer and better how, the, how it packs and how the box works. Um, this is a used watch purchased from Govberg Jewelers in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. They're all over eBay and the internet. They were really pleasant to deal with on eBay. But I thought I'd give you a look at this box and the packing. Look at that little closure right there. Nice. Goes into that little... So there's a little snug fit when you close it. They've given me the hang tag here. Tudor on the one side. And model, etc. on the, the, this model is 79220R. But we watch collectors like to have all the little bits and pieces, so I'm glad to have that. Look at the cute little hinges there and there on the box. Really well made. In some ways, almost better than the Rolex boxes, I think. And here we have the warranty card and paperwork. There's the warranty card. Here's the paperwork. People are all weirded about showing their serial numbers. Um, this is a bit of instructions in Italian. People are so weird about showing their serial numbers and stuff. I ain't going to do What are you gonna do, clone my watch? This is a uh, nice credit card material. Clearly this was sold originally in January of 2014. In uh, Sanremo, Italy. That's cool. My watch has had some international travel. I like that. Um, and by the way, this is a nice little, I don't know, let me snip it. I think it's leatherette, but a little folder. This looks like a notepad. Oh no, guarantee booklet. So there's your international warranty information. And this would uh, this would be the probably I'm guessing the instruction booklet. 
Yeah, instructions and a bit of information on the heritage line. This is uh, looks to be in Italian only. No problem. I speak Spanish. Pretty close, guys. And then, of course, here is the watch itself. Govberg has nicely packaged it. Here's another hang tag. Not returnable if removed. That's their own hang tag. So we're going to leave that on until we're sure that uh, we like it. See me talking in the royal we? Can't help myself. Oh, quick, quick wristwatch check. Right now I am wearing the Jega La Cultra Master Compressor Diving GMT watch. This is a, uh, it's a big, it's a honking big watch. Let me kind of fix that there a little bit. It's a honking big watch. Now uh, that's 45 millimeters across. But um, that being said, however, it uh, it's reasonably light because it's titanium. Um, this puppy actually feels meaty and beefy in the hands. So let's get it out of the plastic and take a closer look. Well, here we have the watch on the wrist, so you can see it's going to need sizing. I don't have the screwdrivers for this, but um, I'll probably get my friend Michael um, Abramski from Modern Day Watch Enthusiasts. Shout out to my MDWE peeps, to my tribe of cannibals over there. Um, I'll, I'll need to get it sized, but uh, that's going to be super easy. And ultimately, what I really need to do is to get a hold of the... Um, the proper screwdrivers to do this but you can see how this looks on the wrist this is beautiful double domed crystal gilt dial kind of chocolate this one has the burgundy bezel and a really interesting little detail the uh, the crown tube there are no crown guards on this that that red splash you see there is the uh, is the crown tube and it is anodized in the same burgundy as the bezel which I want to say is aluminum so this really is the unboxing video guys I will spend more time um, to do a proper review of this watch and I will compare it to the black version which I borrowed from Michael but that is the unboxing video hope you've enjoyed it Please like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Thanks. This is Mark Goldberg at Mark Vlogs Watches. Here's my dog Sheena coming to say hi. In the uh, in the last segment, <laughs> I had shot that this the the wrist shot of this watch. I shot it upside down, and then I flipped it using a bit of software. But as you could see, it gave us the mirror image or sort of like an inverse shot. So everything was uh, backwards but i'm providing you this segment um so that uh, sheena can say hi and you guys can see this watch without the uh without that mirror image also you'll notice that i had it sized i couldn't wait for michael um <laughs> so i ran to my my local watchmaker who for 10 bucks will play with stuff for me um this has screws in the uh, in the links so it's very easy to uh to size these bracelets yourself if you trust yourself near your two, three thousand dollar or more watches with sharp objects, and I myself do not, so um, I'd really rather pay ten bucks. But anyway, here's a proper wrist shot of this along with the dog. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget. Oh, there's another one. He's just eaten. Anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.